I'm Jesse Scheidlauer, the editor at large of the Oxford English Dictionary, and I am the judge of this bee, and I assemble the word list and all the rules. And I'm Erin Cox from Publishing Perspective. Uh, Jesse, tell me, this year, what, what, what do you think is going to stump people? Have you collected a list of words that are maybe new to the 80th edition that might you know, scare people, might throw them off their game? Well, actually, no. What, what I think is the most interesting is for people to be thrown off their game by words that they already know. Right. So if you look at if you look at the National Spelling Bee, the words that are on the list and things that people get knocked out on are all these esoteric esoteric medical terms. If no one cares about whether or not you can spell uh, you know, pneumonolog for microscopic silicobrocanoconiosis or something like that. <laughs> like, no one cares. Right. You want to see that someone doesn't know how to spell an extremely common word that you see all the time. If you misspell millennium, for example, that's funny. Right. And if you have a crowd where everyone is a journalist or a publisher or a well-known author, and it turns out that they can't spell the most basic words that everyone knows, that's what you want to see. Yeah. Um, so I think the word list this year, uh, I think it's a pretty good one, uh, has a lot of words, most of which would be known to any literate person, uh, but I think many of them would be ones that you would have to stop and think, well, wait, is that, is that an I or an E? Or um, and uh, I think that's what people want to see. We took a short video with Jeffrey, too, and we made him spell ukulele. Because okay. he said that was a word that stumped people last year. Well, it was a problematic one two years ago oh, because two years there are ago. two spellings of it. Uh, uh, and well, well, there are several, there are a number of spellings, but there are two main spellings, and someone gave what is regarded as the alternate spelling, uh, and then was very upset that we didn't accept it. Uh, but for the purpose, it's one thing to look at, look at the language and say, uh, you know, these are common words, and this is a common variant, so we will list it in the dictionary. Right. Uh, but for the purpose of the spelling bee, the one that get list, gets listed first, that's the right one. You know, everything else is just wrong. Interesting. Uh, so if you give what's a common, but not the most common variant, Variant, you're wrong. Uh, and, and a person gave that variant, and we said she was wrong, and she got very upset by that. Uh, but the National Ukulele Organization, or whatever <laughs> it's called, they spell it in the way that we said it's spelled, so, you know. Fair enough. Do you good. think Jonathan Burnham is going gonna, is gonna to win again this year? Well, he think? was very good. I mean, yeah. I think in the end it does come down to a certain level of chance. Uh, yeah. I mean, a couple of years ago, Patrick McGraw won. Yeah. You know, because someone else, there was a word that was, I think, would be better known to English uh, people than Americans, and a few people got knocked out on it, and he won. So you can't always tell, but he was very good, and I think he's got to be regarded as a pretty good candidate this year as well. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, and we're looking forward to a fun night. Thank you. Me too. Okay.